Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back again. Let us start the next lecture. So it is the continuity of the earlier lecture. So now uh, in the earlier lecture we have, uh, I have shown you how, how to solve the advection equation, linear advection equation with some uh, given constant velocity. So I have described the central difference uh, which is called naive scheme or backward or forward difference, which is an upwinding scheme. Now I solve the next one is uh, advection equation. So del rho by del t plus a del rho by del x is equal to d del 2 by del 2 rho by del x square. So it is same. So in minus 2 to 2, initial condition same as earlier in the advection case. So rho of 0 x is I just take like a window function again. 0 if minus 2 less equal to x less equal to 0, sine of pi x if 0 less equal to x less equal to 1, 0 if 1 less equal to x less equal to 2. So t final we can choose as uh, then uh, given T final is equal to F1 and uh, so number of grid point so delta x is defined by again 4 by n and now here maybe so the, the here or the division coefficient is positive if d is very large then we may have very solution we will play with that later and but then we will have the time step restricting on, on the velocity as well as the diffusion so diffusion also it should take its own time you cannot give larger time step therefore we should have some type of minimum of the CFL number and some coefficient with this D so I will not present that but so we just play with that you can find the, in the literature so how to derive now this uh, differential, the difference, final difference for, formula for that. So again, consider x i is minus two plus i minus one and delta x, and uh, rho i is a rho of x i, and Taylor expansion. So rho of i plus 1, it is same as in the earlier lecture, rho of i plus delta x, rho x plus half rho xx, so delta x square by 2 plus delta x q by 3 factorial rho x xx plus capital this is higher order order 4 and then rho i minus 1 is of rho of i minus delta x rho x plus delta x square by 2 rho x x 
minus delta x q by 3 factorial rho triple x plus higher order term. So now what we need that we need del rho by del x and we need del 2 rho by del x square. So del rho by del x we have obtained in the, in the earlier case that just subtracting this from this and then this to cancel then we have only the rho x. But now when we add now these two, yeah, because adding these two equations plus plus yeah, everywhere. So what will happen? So when we add this part plus and minus cancel, and this third order derivative also plus and minus cancel. So what do we get here? Rho of i plus one minus rho i minus one is equal to two times rho of i plus here you know, delta x square by two plus delta x square by two is uh, delta x square rho x x plus higher order term is order of delta x four. And now when we put it on this side, so our rho x x is given by is rho i plus one, you put it on this side minus two of rho of i plus rho of i minus one divided by delta x square. And now we have already derived how to get this del rho by del x and then how to get del rho is square del x square is like that. Now how our scheme looks like the following. So our scheme is now the finite scheme looks like so rho of i n plus 1 minus rho of i n we still have first order in time but in principle we can do also the higher order approximation on time rho i n plus 1 minus rho i of n by delta t plus a so what we had this standard difference scheme rho i n is i plus 1 minus rho i minus 1 n by 2 delta x is equal to d rho i n plus 1 so rho i plus 1 n minus 2 rho i of n plus rho i minus 1 n divided by delta x square from that formula and now so what do we get from here rho i n plus 1 is I put everything on the right hand side rho i of n minus so here a delta t times 2 delta x plus now d delta t times delta x square now in the bracket this term rho i plus 1 n minus 2 of rho i of n plus rho i minus 1 of n. So now this is our tender difference formula. Now you remember is that so in the central difference we had the problem that after certain time our so sorry here something missing in the bracket we will have this type part yeah rho i plus 1 minus rho i minus 1 n. So this is missing here. Yeah, This part it comes here. So this is our formula. And now we had in our linear advection case that the, the, the central difference it was blowing up. We hope now with the little diffusion that blow up is getting down. So it means the oscillation is somehow smooth by, by this uh, diffusion coefficient. Now also one of the application of that, for example, 
this equation can be solved by if you see in the, the real application, there is a smoke or there is a dust in the cement factory. So in the, there is a like source storm, and then the wind is there. So A will be like a wind velocity, and then you will have the diffusion. So finally, your solution decays and it becomes to zero. Yeah. So that is also there is an application of this uh, convective diffusion equation in the reality. Now, what will happen if A is much larger than D, then it is dominated by convective part. So in that case, we may have to do the approximation according to the information coming in or going out. Yeah? We should use the upending for approximation of that and for that not. But if the D dominates somehow the convective part, so if D is somehow large enough in order to dominate that one, then we may not need any upending here. So at the moment, the example which I saw for certain D that we will have the smooth solution that I will come in the session of the, the lab session. And now let us continue that with this. Uh, this was up to now. It is the um, uh, nonlinear. It is now it is up to this is uh, the linear case. And now come to the nonlinear, so which is the Taylor uh, the Burger equation. solving burger equation. So this is one scheme. And now we have another scheme. Another equation is that del rho by del t plus rho del rho by del x is equal to 0. Now I consider in minus 1 to 2. So initial Initial condition, we have already seen that uh, we have got some exact solution with this initial condition. Rho 0, rho of 0 x is equal to 1 if minus 1 x less equal to minus 1. It is between minus 1 and 0. 1 minus x if it is 0 to 1, 0 if it is. Uh, so our solution is initial value is that this is uh, x, this is a rho 0. So it is minus 1 here, it is 1 here. It is 1 up to here, 1 minus x here. The initial value is like this. This and 0 here. Yeah, this is our initial value. So we cut 8.2. So this is our interval minus 1 to 2, and this is our initial value. So we know that at t is equal to 1, we have the exact solution and that should be shock. Yeah? That we will show in the numerics. Now again, the, the finite difference scheme, a naive scheme. Same as the advection case, rho i n plus so so again, I don't go into detail again. So we'll have the discretization. So we choose the number of points A is equal to n, and then uh, we just uh, take the the discrete value x i and the, the the discrete rho i is rho of x i. So it is same as here. I don't want to repeat again uh, because it is almost same. So now rho i plus one minus rho of i of n by delta t plus, now it is rho of i n. So this is instead of a, here now this is a variable times, now the derivative is that rho of i 1 n minus rho i minus 1 n by 2 delta x is equal to 0. So this 
is given explicitly by rho of i n plus 1 is equal to rho of i n minus delta t by 2 delta x of times rho of i n times this term rho i n plus 1 n minus rho i minus 1 n. So, this is I call is as 6.1. So, this I call it as a 6.2. Now, this is central difference scheme again. Now, even what we have seen in the case of linear, also we have the oscillation, and now this is nonlinear. It is much worse, it is much complicated. So, there is certainly more oscillation. Yeah? So that we will see in the numerical part. And now, in order to avoid this oscillation, now the CFL number is almost same. And now here our the velocity is looks like a rho. So the maximum value of rho in this case it is one. Yeah. So CFL number is one here. Uh, the the maximum velocity is, the, is one. Therefore, we use the same CFL number as like that. And uh, now let us do uh, some stable scheme in order to avoid the instabilities. The upwinding So here what we do if rho is positive, then what we will have that so, backward difference it means rho of x is a rho of i minus rho of i minus 1 by delta x. Yeah, that is just directly coming from the Taylor expansion. So, our scheme is rho of i n plus 1 minus rho of i n by delta t is equal to plus rho of i n rho of i minus rho of i minus 1 at time level n divided by delta x is equal to 0. So then we get finally rho of i n plus 1 is equal to rho of i n minus delta t by delta x rho of i n rho of i n minus rho of i minus 1 n. So, this is now I define it as a 6.3. So, similarly, Similarly, if rho is negative, so what we will have that rho of i n plus 1 is rho of i n minus delta t by delta x n. Now we have forward difference rho of i plus 1 n minus rho of i of n. So this is called 6.4. Yeah, and now we try to implement uh, this. So one more is that this is the primitive form. Yeah, but I have described there is the conservative form. The conservative form looks like uh, different. So uh, the conservative form is. Uh, del rho by del t plus del by del x of rho square by 2 is 0. Yeah, it's the same, nothing else. So once you apply the this, then you get 2 is a rho, rho x. Yeah, and now the scheme, so the scheme is rho of i n plus 1 minus rho of i n by delta t plus so half I can take it out. So then what we get del by del x we get rho 
i plus 1 square minus rho of i minus 1 square by 2 delta x one case then other case what we get so is equal to 0 and rho i of n plus 1 is rho i of n minus delta t by 4 delta x then rho i plus 1 square minus rho i minus 1 square. Similarly, we get the upwinding scheme rho of i n plus 1 is rho of i n minus delta t by 2 delta x rho i n square. So, here is n minus rho i minus 1 square. So, this is the backward and we similarly get the forward. So, now we try to show all this uh, into the numerical uh, simulation. So, I may not go maybe into the uh, this form, but you can do as uh, exercise uh, by yourself. So, let us uh, do the numerical part, uh, computational part with the computer. So again, uh, now uh, just uh, we do our the 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 advection diffusion equation here. Here, nothing else. But what we have, I have taken the diffusion d is equal to zero point zero one. Nothing else, and it is same as before. But what we have that on the 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 right hand side, I have the some addition part of this d times. Uh, this uh, the second order derivative what uh, we had uh, already derived on the board and now there is nothing now with this d is equal to 0 0.01 let us see with the same central reference where we had the on stabilities now we check with the the solution so it is uh, we get uh, there is no any problem yeah so now if even if i take the negative part the final time I just take a little bit shorter here, maybe zero point because it is already out of my domain. It is uh, zero point zero point seven five. So then we get we do not get out of the domain. We are still inside the domain. Yeah, if I take now uh, the negative part, negative velocity. It should the wave should move to the left. So we get the stable solution like uh, like before. Yeah. So if I if we increase number of points, so now like four hundred, so we get better solution. So we get stable solution even for larger point also both sides. And now let us come to the Burger equation now. So the Burger equation is that uh, what we have. So I have taken minus one minimum value plus two, and I take on same n is equal to hundred. So CFL number is same, but here. Our velocity is just to define my CFL number. I have taken one because our initial condition, what I have, uh, we have, is a maximum velocity or maximum rho is one. Therefore, it is a say it is, a, is taken one. Otherwise, I have to take the maximum value of all rho of i. And now, so I run up to final breaking time as we have derived is equal to one. And there we also get some exact solution. Yeah. So, but first let us start with the central difference because no point of plotting the exact solution here. So, the central difference uh, scheme shows that. So, now initially what we get, we get oscillation here. Yeah. So, we get, although this is a very, very linear profile, now it blows up very quickly. Yeah. So, this is the effect of numerical instability now just again a little bit more point what will happen there 
so we'll just take 400 point so again it, it is the same even the better resolution also start getting the oscillation in the in the the time development so again it's uh, going up and down so the scheme even it was as uh, unstable in the linear case and of course it is also unstable with the nonlinear is even much worse now as a remedy of this one that uh, we can now derive the uh, stable solution using the opening idea now let us uh, so once it finished so we can break it but so t is equal to 1 i have given broken time let us uh, run until it is over and now the opening scheme is that uh, so is nothing else just we have to change uh, whether is the row is negative or row is positive then in that case either take the up backward difference or forward difference solution and now what we see that now in that case it's worthwhile if the solution is stable it's worthwhile to plot the exact solution so the exact solution which i have uh, written on the board in the earlier lecture so i have now i will plot it at the end of the simulation just now let us see the times evolution of the solution now you see the shock it so it, it developed now even the small the, the linear solution and now we say the this is the exact solution the blue curve and numerical solution this one since we, i have taken only 100 points therefore we cannot expect that we get the better solution now let us increase by 200 points what will happen so i take 200 points i hope with the 200 points the solution should be better it should grow uh, close to the shock point yes so it is uh, still running so it's still stable even with more point look a little bit sharper than the the 100 point so now it is better now finally just uh, let us start with the 400 points what will happen so it should be much in the shock we should have better resolution just let us see with the 400 point even you can go with the 800 point even if you want to zoom you still make a little bit uh, discrepancy between the exact and numerical solution so now with the 400 points let us see how it will happen So now you see it is much better. So it's still not that much far, but it is first order scheme. So you have to do many, many, still even take more points in order to avoid uh, this uh, oscillation. So I think uh, you have got uh, the good impression of finite difference uh, method. And um, I could have also given you the solution of uh, viscose burger, viscose form of the burger equation. But it doesn't make again much sense. So maybe I will do that when we come to the mesh method, mesh particle method. And now, just uh, to give you the basic idea, I wanted to generalize this uh, finite difference method to the, the to, to the mesh particle method, which is like a generalized finite difference method. And therefore, I have given you the basic introduction so that you will not be much confused what it is, what I am doing there. Yes, so now our le next lecture will be the real topics what I have given, which is the mesh free particle method. So, mesh means here what we have, we have the, the i plus 1, i minus 1, but there our grids are very scattered, very disordered, and they can even move. And even in the beginning, you start with a regular point, then after moving, and they become disordered therefore we call it as a mesh free no connectivity between the point so only we have the neighboring cloud of points so with that base of that with the help of that cloud point we compute our derivative so thank you we stop this uh, topics finite difference method today i hope uh, you got a good impression so you should be able to produce some result by yourself so thank you very much